Good morning from wet and soggy Cashers, North Carolina. We've already had 1.6 inches of rain since midnight, so it is a wet one today. But that's what you give when you live in the. Uh, that's what you get when you live in a temperate rainforest. And we're glad for the beautiful days and glad for the rain. I give you a moment to center yourselves, and we'll begin. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before God's presence with the song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we pray that you will guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading comes from Galatians. We pick up from where we were yesterday. Then after three years I did go up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and stayed with him fifteen days. But I did not see any other apostle except James, the Lord's brother. And what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard it said, The one who formerly was persecuting us is now proclaiming the faith he once tried to destroy and they've glorified God because of me. Then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus with me. I went up in response to a revelation. Then I laid before them, though only in private, with the acknowledged leaders, the gospel I proclaim among the Gentiles in order to make sure that I was not running or had not run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not compelled to be circumcised, though he was Greek. But because of false believers secretly brought in, who slipped in to spy on the freedom we have in Christ Jesus, so that they may enslave us, we did not submit to them even for a moment, so that the truth of the gospel might always remain with you. And from those were who were supposed to be acknowledged leaders, what they actually were makes no difference to me. God no, shows no partiality. Those leaders contributed nothing to me. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel for the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel for the circumcised, for he who worked through Peter, making him an apostle to the circumcised, also worked through me, sending me to the Gentiles. And when James and Cephas and John, who were acknowledged pillars, recognized the grace that had been given to me, they gave to Barnabas and to me the right hand of fellowship, agreeing that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. They asked only one thing, that we remember the poor, which was actually was I, what I was eager to do. The Gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6. Jesus left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that, he has, been, that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there, until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you, and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we receive those words into our heart, words from Paul about how he was sent by God, words from the gospel about how Jesus sent out people, may we focus on how we too are sent and sent this very day. Sent as a proclamation, sent as a witness. And may we live into that call that we have this day and always. Let us now pray in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive these our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in all their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. Amen. Great to be with you this day. Stay well, stay faithful, stay dry if you're out in the soup like we are. Quack, quack, good day for ducks. And I'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs>